what are some of the worst rides at Universal Studios Hollywood? We're going to check them all out today and give you our personal review. Well, let's roll it. So one of the first rides in our list of worst rides here at Universal Studios Hollywood is Transformers The Ride 3D. Now, two out of the three rides on this list are simulation slash 3D rides, and I think that plays a lot into why a lot of people do not particularly like 3D or simulation rides. A lot of people get motion sickness on these kinds of rides. Sometimes also the screens are a little bit blurry, even with the 3D glasses they provide to you. I think a lot of technology has improved since these rides and attractions were originally made, so the fact that they have haven't been updated yet I think contributes to the fact that again they can make people feel a little queasy a little sick when going on and off of the ride also when it comes to Transformers the ride there isn't a lot of story necessarily in the queue itself there are obviously little nods and mentions and some of the overhead announcements as to what's taking place currently before you board the ride now I do think the ride itself has a great story you are basically a transformer and Autobot specifically that is trying to protect the AllSpark but again when it comes to the the actual technology the screens aren't great the audio quality isn't great and a lot of times the ride either does break down during the ride or sound is not working or image isn't working on one of the screens and therefore you're missing a bit of story you're missing a bit of the attraction so I can understand why this makes it to the top of a lot of people's least favorite rides list the Simpsons ride in Krusty Land is also one of the worst reviewed rides here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It suffers from a lot of issues that I think is what makes it a lot of people's worst rides list. It often has a very, very long wait time, whether that's due to technical difficulties with the ride coming to a stop or being paused, also the very long queue. It really makes it an attraction you have to plan your day around. Now they do have express lanes that do move quicker than the regular queue. However, even the express lanes can get backed up whenever there are technical difficulties so it can feel like you're not moving as quickly. What? Homer! Also, one of the things I do think this ride would benefit from is a dedicated single rider line or a shared single rider line with express lane. I feel like that would help the queue move a lot faster. I think there are a lot of groups that are willing to split up and would jump into single rider or individuals that want to ride the rides themselves that don't necessarily want to wait in a 45 minute queue. It's one of the rides along with Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge and Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey that as soon as the park opens a lot of times it quickly scales up to a very long wait time. The Simpsons ride is another simulation ride so again a lot of people criticize the fact that it is not very clear it can be a bit blurry at times and with the way the seats of the ride moves it can feel very jolty and jerky and if you suffer from motion sickness or getting a little queasy this ride unfortunately does affect a lot of people and next is Harry Potter and the flight of the hippogriff as one of the worst rides Bloody hell! a lot of the reviews for the ride aren't as technical as the Simpsons ride for example or Transformers ride 3d it is not a simulation or a 3d ride it is your standard roller coaster however where some of the reviews come in are in the theming of the ride itself. A lot of the reviews complain about the queue not having a lot of theming, although you do see a few little nods to the Harry Potter movies along the queue. Also the ride length, it is very, very short. So it is a coaster that accommodates quite a few, whether you're an adult or a child. It does have a height requirement. However, a lot of people like to refer to it as a kid ride or a little one's ride. Now, because it's a family ride, obviously it's not gonna have humongous drops or go very fast or forwards and backwards like some other coasters. So if you do have young ones, this is a great, I would say, maybe tamer coaster to get them used to riding roller coasters however if you're looking for big thrills I would not recommend this ride you probably want to head to Revenge of the Mummy I don't think that necessarily makes it a bad ride but I do understand how a lot of people feels like this ride doesn't cater to many it really is a great family ride instead thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one